Hey, greetings, greetings. Greetings, greetings. Oh, yes, Lord. How about shake? Oh, I feel God. Man, I, I had a, um, I wanted to kind of share something with people today. Just so people can see, you know, where our country is as a whole. We are in trouble, folks. We are in trouble, and I'm going to share why we are in trouble. Give a couple minutes for people to come in. God bless you. Thank you for joining. What is this? Anyway, God bless y'all. Thank y'all for coming on. I just wanted to share something. Because I was watching the news and some things really, it really disturbed me today. Well, actually, uh, last night, rather, I was watching uh, the news on some things, and really, it really had me. Our tr- our country is in trouble. Not only that, but uh, God had spoke to me about our children that our children are gonna have to be covered. That our children are gonna need the protection of Jesus. They're gonna need the blood of the Lamb. And the reason why He was telling me this. It's because the dark place this country is in. This country is opening up other doors to the demonic realm. This country is seeking demonic power. And so as I'm saying, this country is in trouble. Every nation that forgets God shall be turned into hell. But see, what are we going to do? Are we going to bring God back in? See, when you move God out of things, the devil moves in. So when these kids start being tormented by demons, when people start seeing these things, it's going to drive you insane. But I wanted to share this to show you what I ran into last night. And this is crazy. Okay, this right here was an update about Portland, Oregon, after school, pro, uh, they okayed an after school program for Satan, for elementary kids. Could you imagine that the demons tormenting your child? Could you imagine these kids really tapping into the demonic realm? See, this country needs to turn back to God. Why why would you okay a back-to-school program for kids? It's a satanic after-school program for the children. And let's let's read a little bit of what they're saying. The Portland chapter of the Satanic Temple has succeeded in its efforts to bring an after-school program called After School Satan to a Portland elementary school. This is crazy. This is crazy. See, they feel like the group says it hopes to counter-influence a Christian after-school programs. See, they're trying to get our kids to turn over to Satan. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is insane. I've never seen nothing like it. Why would you see and see this is where this is where our country is. This just updated, let's see. Yesterday. Well, actually, today, today's the 28th, I believe. But I was looking at it last night. But see, it's getting more and more, more publicity as far as what's going on. And see, this is why our country is in trouble. Because the minute you take God out of everything, Satan begins to move in. He's going to move in in our homes. He's going to move in on our children. And we have to be protected. Because the enemy is picking up his pace. 
the enemy is getting more and more crafty. This is uh, CBSnews.com. So the, the we got we got people in this country okay and demonic activity. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna teach these kids dom demonic dialogues. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna teach these kids instead of them teaching them the Holy Bible. They'll be teaching them Satan's Bible. So these kids are going to be taught to do evil, to do wickedness. And you know, I went on a site in my hometown. They have people that's okay. And they say, oh, it's okay. It's okay. How is that okay teaching the kids about the demonic realm? How is that okay? And these people are actually saying, oh, I'm okay with it. It's sad. This is sad. And I went and I read some of the comments. Let's see if we can pick it up on this one. People are okay with this. People are actually okay with this. I don't understand. See, the enemy has moved in on this country. And when I tell you, if this country don't turn back to God, this is what we're dealing with. After school, Satan is a much more interesting named in science club see this is crazy like these people's comments and they they're okay with this well this is a decent comment right here this guy said the country is slowly turning its backs on the values embarrassed by America's greatest generations these same generations that built this country and saved the entire world from tyranny more than once. God help us. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, wow, wow. People... We got to turn back to God. This is what we're dealing with right now. In your own country. In, in, in great America. Yes, have mercy on us. But see what, what's even more crazy? That they allowed this. They allowed the enemy to come in. And create this. It's sad. It's sad. I just want to come bring this because I really, this country is just, man, it, it, we, we're going down in a spiral. And we're going down to the devil's territory. We got to get our kids. We, our kids need to be covered. These are the things that they're allowing in school. They really okay this. Well, I really thought I was reading things. But this is how dark this country is now. They want our kids to learn about the demonic realm. So when these kids start, when these demons start tormenting kids and they start killing their mothers and they start killing their kids, their classmates and all that, you're going to know why. This is what's going on in America right now. Sad. That's sad. Let me share this. Because our country, our country is going straight to hell fast. We need God. This country needs God. 
anytime you allow the enemy to come in and create his own own agenda this is why i tell people the enemy has an agenda and his agenda is to collect as many souls as possible and he's attacking our children he's attacking schools he's attacking everything but when we allow the enemy to come in and take control, we as a country got to turn back and repent to God. Allow this. How can you allow that? After school, Satan for elementary kids. Really? And they voted this. They voted for this. In that town, that this is okay. <sighs> this country has to repent. This country needs to turn back to God. And see, this is what happens when you exclude God out of everything. When you push God out of school, out of the schools, when you push Him out of the nation, the enemy. It's going to get stronger and stronger. But this, these are the times that we're in. We're in dark times. And you're going to see more people against e more people, evil people against good. People are going to rather do evil than good now. And that's where we're at. Sad, sad, sad. After school, Satan. And this really just blows my mind. How the people just forgot about God. This is a country that loved God. Stood, for, stood on everything. Stood on the principles. But this country is, is quickly forgetting about God. As Christians, we got to come together and stand and get a backbone. And not just watch all of these things happen. We got to get our country back. It's sad. But I will say this. <clears throat> Every nation that forgets God shall be turned into hell. Yes. You cannot forget God and expect there not to be no consequences. This is not going to happen. And really... We, you know, I don't even blame, I don't even blame the people in that town for voting it. See, we got to get mad at the devil because he's moving, he's pushing his agenda in. See, the devil has a will. The devil has a plan why he's doing what he's doing. And he's trying to collect as many people as he can to take with him. I mean, it's sad. When this country starts okay and evil. When you start okaying for kids to go in and to tap into the demonic realm, this country needs to repent. I just wanted to share this because I, it's something that really, it, it, it blew my mind, but I'm not surprised because anytime you start pushing God out of everything, you don't want prayer, you don't want Bibles, you don't want people seeking God. It's not, it, it's not, it's not a surprise. That we're going to have more things like this move in. It doesn't surprise me. What What's sad is. We got people being blinded. And people are just like. Okay whatever let it happen. They're just like. Okay whatever. If the enemy reaches the kids. Do you know what that can do? That's our next generation. So if the enemy reaches the kids. Imagine what things would be like. People are going to think it's okay to worship the devil. They're going to think it's okay. But if we don't shut this down right now, if we don't shut that down, we're going to have a problem. You're going to have more demons on the loose than everything. That's crazy to me. We got to wake up, America. After school Satan. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
Am I the only one that knows about this? It's just insane to me. We got to turn back to God. And when I say we got to turn back, we got to turn back fast. Because this is nothing but wickedness. Mm -hmm. Share this to the people. Blow your trumpet. Let people know, okay, what's going on. Yes. Oh, this was uh, from uh, CBS News. CBS News. So it's not a fake site. I, I did my research. I seen it on my on a news site from where I'm at. And y'all, this is really this is really going on. Y'all, this is what I'm saying. This country has gotten dark. Anytime you okay this, and they claim they did it just because there's Christianity. This is insane. But what do you expect? We're really going to have our children tapping into the demonic realm, learning about demons, learning about Satan. We're opening up portals for the enemy to come in. Our kids going to have to be covered. Our kids going to have to be prayed for. And we're going to ask God, we're going to have to ask God to intervene. Yep, that's what they want. They want us to worship Satan. But see, you know what? We can't even get mad at the people. You know why? Because we have to rebuke the enemy. We got to get out on our knees and cry out to God. We got to plead the blood of Jesus against the enemy. Because it's the enemy. It's not the people. The people are just influenced by the enemy. So we can't get mad at the people for okay in this. This is the agenda of the enemy. See, the enemy has a plan. He has his plans to draw people. Just like God and the spirit of God draws people, the spirit of the adversary, he draws people as well. This country needs to turn back. When this country repents, you'll see God move in. But he said, if my people are called by my name, would humble themselves and seek my face and pray, then I'll turn and heal their land. We have to turn back. But if we don't turn back, this is what you're going to see more of. You're going to see more of the enemy moving in. You're going to see satanic temples all around your city. This is where we're getting now. You're going to see demonic conferences. They're going to start attacking Christians. They're going to start attacking these churches. The enemy is moving in. He's moving in. But people are so blinded by these demonic forces. I'm telling you, it's getting stronger and stronger. So this is why you got to pray. This is why you got to stay in the presence of God. Because you are no match against the enemy without God. Man, really, I, when I seen this, I wasn't even surprised. I was just like, wow, these people have allowed the enemy to come in and bamboozle them. To let them think that it's okay to worship somebody that's evil. To worship demons. For them to think that's okay. Wow. Anyway, I'm going to get off of here. Y'all share it. Be blessed.